As a lot of you know, when Warframes are released, they come with signature weapons. And when that Warframe winds up getting a Prime, its signature weapon also gets a Prime. And I wanted to try to predict what weapons are going to wind up getting Primed that we don't already have as signature weapons based off of the Incarnate list of weapons that we have. So I had made a sheet that you guys can access completely free here. And it basically just shows the weak rotations and what weapons are currently incarnable, like have incarnate adapters. And in order for you guys to get this, it's totally free. Just go to my Patreon over here. In the About Me section, you scroll down and you can go Gifts from the Void or just click on the image. And when you do that, it'll it'll pull up the link to this. What you want to do is click File, then make a copy, which I'll show you here. File, then make a copy. Because if you don't, it's not going to transfer every like all the formulas correctly. So do that, and you guys will have this whole sheet for yourselves, so you can have your own little checklist. And there's a lot of other tabs that are attached to this that are useful tools you can use in Warframe. But all that being said, uh, let's kind of break this down. So this is what the current sheet looks like. Everything's broken down by weak rotation. What I did was I made a copy of this. And what I want to do with the copy of this is I want to get rid of everything that already has a prime because that's not what we're like looking at right now. That's not going to help us. So I'm going to quickly just get rid of all the things that already have primes here. And we can see this list a little bit shortened. So it'll, it'll kind of help us predict a little bit better what's going on here. Okay, so now that we've gotten rid of all of the primes, we can kind of see this a little bit more clear. You can see how the kunai right here is really just has a kunai in the MK1, which they did mention at Tenokan, these MK1 variants, they said they were going to remove them. What's important here is that the primed weapons are always Tenno weapons. We've never had a primed, at least not to my knowledge, we've never had a primed corpus weapon, we've never had a primed grenier weapon, never had a primed infested weapon. And we've definitely never had a primed uh, assassin weapon, although this probably is a little bit more likely that we might see. And I don't think, I actually don't think we'll see a primed assassin weapon, but I do think there's a possibility for there to be something crazy about the storyline in an update that happens in the future where they take any of these three stalker weapons or any of these three assassin weapons here and they give it a variant similar to how there's Wraith weapons and how there's whatever the other kind of variants are. Sinoid, Prisma, like yeah, like Prisma and Wraith, like similar to how there's those. Um, maybe we'll see something with the Assassin weapons like that in the future. But what kind of bred this whole thing that I'm doing here was that they released the info that when Grendel comes out, Grendel's coming with a Zylock Prime, which means we're going to want another Incarnate Adapter for this. So we'll be able to basically have a Zylock Prime. Zylock is a Tenno weapon, um, but we kind of already know this is happening now. So I could actually get rid of this and we can kind of shrink this down a little bit more. So I'm leaving specifically all of these other weapons up here because they they technically don't have primes. I suppose because the Prisma Angstrom, for example, is a corpus, it's not a Tenno weapon, and it already has a Prisma variant that I could get rid of it, but then I don't necessarily want to do that because now we're looking at, there's also a Prisma Gorgon and a, and a Gorgon Wraith. So this has two extra special variants to it. So I'm kind of just leaving it here because who knows what they're going to do. But let's focus on what matters. What matters is we only want to see the Tenno weapons. And I've already kind of separated them with this column here. So this column is basically only talking about the Tenno weapons and what they are. We have second, we have two secondaries and we have five melee weapons. Okay, cool. So now that we know that it is possible and probably likely at some point, that the kunai will eventually get a prime variant. As far as the Anku, it makes sense to me. I could totally see there being an Anku, uh, Anku prime. What I really can definitely see there being uh, is a Nami solo right here. I can totally see, I don't know why, I've always felt like this already had a prime. And I'm not sure why if there's something else in the game that's like tricking my brain, but I feel like this already had a prime anyway. But currently it actually doesn't. Um, I think this will happen in the future. But now let's try to figure out, of all the separations that we've done here, 
where is it possible that we're going to see these actually popping up? So I kind of timelined it a little bit here. So Grendel, we already know, is coming out with two weapons. Uh, and we know that those weapons are his signature Meseter and the Zylock. So he's done. I didn't write any extra bullet points here for him. Gauss already has a signature Exceltra and, ex and a signature Acarius. So there's nothing written here. But Protea has the Velox. Just one weapon, and it's a secondary. Which means that we can take just the melees, uh, probable melees, and we can kind of organize them here. So we have the Anku, Ceramic Dagger, Magistar, Nami Sola, and the Cybear right here. And then for Zaku, we, we see that he has his Quasis, which is a melee weapon. So we can't add the melees from this column, but we could add the secondaries, uh, the potential secondaries. And you can kind of see how I've done this. It kind of allows us to almost predict what primary weapons potentially could come out. Now they could totally ignore everything that I've kind of like mapped out here and not do it in this order, but it's really just fun speculation is what we're going over here. If we look at Lavos, he only has a Cedo, which is a primary weapon, which opens us up to any of the possibilities that we have left. Sevagoth over here has a secondary, so we're just looking at the melee possibilities. Ureli has a secondary, so we're just looking at the melee possibilities. Caliban has a melee, so we're just looking at secondaries. With Geyer and Steinex, they both have primaries, so we're looking at the combination of secondary and melee possibilities. And then for Varuna and Citrine, they came with two weapons apiece, so they're not likely going to get anything incarnate, uh, like, like anything that potentially could be incarnate. And then we have Kalervo, who had a his Ruta, which is primary. And then for Degath, who or Degath, however you want to pronounce it, we have a potential melee weapon. We don't know what it is, but this over here in the wiki page, which is, I don't know if you noticed, is all unfilled. So first ability, second ability, third ability, fourth ability. Like, this is all just a template right now. It's nothing's been filled out yet. But it says right here, in the original concept, she wielded an executioner's axe as her signature weapon. Community coordinator Megan Everett, Everett implied that the axe design was borrowed by the Soul Frame art team, such as Degath now wields a new blade and whip weapon, which sounds like a melee to me. Uh, I don't know if anybody wants to argue that, but that sounds like a melee to me. So I, I kind of thought this was like just a little fun activity that I could do that I could just throw out there into uh, the YouTube space to try to get your feedback, your thoughts, and see what do you guys think about this? What likely weapons do you think are going to wind up being primed next that also potentially could be the Incarnate, uh, uh, have, have Incarnate adapters? And the whole reason I, I even brought this up in the first place is because if we go back to the original sheets that you guys can download here, see how week one is pretty filled with weapons, week two is pretty filled, week three is pretty filled, four is pretty filled, and then we get to week five. And this is like empty. It's like, where's all the extra weapons at? And then we get to week seven, which is also kind of empty. And they decided they were just recently going to use the Zylock Prime. So now it's not as empty anymore. But it just kind of seems like there's so there's going to be certain weeks in rotations that are just kind of dead weeks because everybody's going to get these pretty quick. And then no one's going to play this during week five. And then no one's going to play this during week seven. But everyone's you know going to tend to be busy for all the other weeks when there's extra stuff to get. It just seems like to me my perspective they have some filling out to do here like they they kind of gotta add stuff but what i find interesting is if we look at week five rotation not a single one of these is actually a tenno weapon which now leads me to think more speculation more fun speculation is that we have grenier two infested another grenier and then another infested so what are they going to do about this week five is just always going to be empty i don't know if it's possible that they'll do this but what if, since they mentioned bringing us infested liches, that that would cover these weapons right here? So we would have infested lich weapons with incarnate adapters, but I don't think they're going to do that. And why do I not think they're going to do that? Because if we go back to all these other incarnate weapons, not a single weapon that has an incarnate adapter anywhere on this list is obtainable through a Kuva lich or a Sister of Parvos. And I think that if they were to do that, it would really, really be very overpowered. Like, probably have to trump all of the other weapons in the game if they did something like that. So it really kind of leads me to believe that, like, th they know that they gotta do something with week five. 
But what are they going to do with week five? It wouldn't be incarnate weapons. And with mostly infested, what what do you... I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of just opening up. What do you guys think is going to happen? Let me know if you found this type of like speculation video interesting. It's just something that's been on my mind and I've wanted to cover because I think it's kind of fun to think about is what they're going to do. So if you enjoyed this, really let me know. And uh, there's a lot more speculation videos I could totally whip up. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you all in the next one.